Right, welcome once again to the dungeon, Dirk here. Uh, yeah, uh, minor technicalities, I, uh, seem to have knocked out the, the, the internet that was on the, on the laptop. Although it was strange, it didn't do it before, and I was running this thing off and on for a few hours, you know, and I even had the damn YouTube on, I was watching a movie, and Google Plus. I don't know, maybe it's because I, I changed the, you know, the, the pulse rate, or I have no idea. Somehow I changed the frequency, and yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead here and do some requests. Um, go ahead and here show you guys. Uh, let's see here. We got here the Screaming Purple Arcs. Uh, that was a suggestion from Sparky, and I, I kind of like that too. It's going to be lots of ozone. And then uh, right now what I have in there is uh, 100 microfarads and uh, 0 ohms for a pulsing flame spark. So we're going to check that out really quick. See what that looks like. All right, everything's plugged in. Power on. Multimeter turned off again. Now, the multimeter only turned off one time too. Is that's 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 not bad. It has some might have some pretty good shielding in there. But anyway. Cool. Little Christmas lights. Well, Christmas <laughs> little neon bulbs. Yeah, and that if you guys are interested in that, that's actually my um my ground over here. I just got a little neon hooked on this as well. Holy shit. Ooh, I gotta be careful with that. That actually draws quite a bit of amps um, from the Variac, so I gotta be careful with that. This isn't ballast. This isn't ballasted. Um, this Variac, and it only goes up to eight amps, so I want to be very careful with it. I'm pretty sure you you, you can um, you know run it a little bit over over amps. Um, there is a, a fuse there and there both uh, 8 amps. Um, the line filter, I kind of, yeah, it's just bridge because that was a 10 amp fuse that's in there. And yeah, I think that, I believe if you put um, fuses in series, um, you're going to, you're going to double the amperage um, uh, value on that. So that would be like, what, 18 then. So yeah, that's not going to work out too good. But uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and unplug this. And yeah, basically there's these little header pins here, as you can see. I kind of can plug and play. Um, Sparky did suggest to uh, to actually use the um, the male uh, header pins um, to go ahead and solder on the values that I like, and that's where the uh, resistor usually goes, right there. But I just have that bridged right now. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, hundred nanofarad. I have nanofarads in the mind. I kept saying that uh, while on chat. So, that should be pretty cool. Let's see what that looks like. Right, go ahead and roll that back down. Oh. Yeah. Uh, noise warning again, that's going to be loud.
Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. That's probably really loud. I hope I didn't fucking kill the mic. Holy shit balls. That was loud. Right. Uh, going on five minutes now. Uh, do I want to try anything else here? Reverse the pulse rate. Snapping sparks. I'll have to find a 10, 10 meg ohm. Uh, right. I did want to try something else here. No, that's going to be too much. Right. Okay. So what we'll do... Uh, let's go... This is the one I was using before, which was a 4.7. It's pretty, you know, decent range. I did have a resistor in there, so let's see what that looks like without the resistor. Replug that back in. Alright. That's pretty slow. Yeah, we can definitely crank this guy up. Alright. I'm going to do it at a moderate pulse rate. Oh, I like that. That's nice. It's getting some pretty nice, you know... Yeah, it's almost like sword-like. Yeah, that was a race car, or, or uh, the motorbike, that's what Steve was calling it. Yeah, that's cool, I kind of like that. It's very sword-like. Excellent. Ooh, I got a bit hot. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to do a little test here. Check the fets. I mean, they're, they're slightly warm. These are some pretty beefed up resistors here that I, I made. These are power resistors. I kind of just check everything from time to time, make sure nothing's getting too hot. Right. And those are uh, the IRFP uh, 250s. So unfortunately, I can't crank this up any, any more than um, uh, basically 170 volts DC, which would be American uh, 120 volts, you know, your standard uh, uh, voltage there. So, yeah. I'm going to upgrade these to the IRFP 460s, which I think are 4 or 500 volt, 20 amp rated ones. So yeah, that should be pretty cool. So this video has been long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is, is, it took a long time, you know, about three weeks to put this together. Uh, and it finally paid off. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, cheers!